Mike Osti sitting here with A.T. Perry, wide receiver out of Wake Forest. Destination to be determined in the NFL as we're here at the East West Shrine Bowl. So, A.T., what's this experience been like you, for you so far, and how has it helped you realize the player you are? Because now you're able to kind of grade yourself amongst many of your peers, but also many more of your peers that maybe you weren't as familiar with and also hear from NFL scouts and coaches. Um, it's kind of it's different, um, you know, just being able to. Uh, well, I would say it's different in the same. Um, you know, just different with the whole process and stuff like that. Uh, you know, just the interviews, the meetings, um, and you know, just talking to different people uh, every day. But um, you know, it's, it's 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 the same. You know, at school, you know, we go through the, kind of the same things. Uh, even when on the field, you know, just the route. So I've been running. Uh, it's kind of similar to school and just the program of special teams, offense, and stuff like that, and the structure of it. Uh, it's kind of similar, you know, um, from school. Um, but, you know, just the talent of guys out here, uh, to be able to come out here and compete every day. Uh, it's been fun. Um, these past two days have been fun. Uh, you know, just, just being out there again and showing the scouts what I can do. In terms of an attribute, what do you think you bring to the table maybe that could set you apart? Because you look you up and you look at these numbers. Obviously, you're putting some big numbers up, but some of these guys are as well. But what, what sets you apart? Um, I would honestly say that I'm different. Like, you see a lot of tall guys. That, uh, you know, some of, these, some of the guys have talked about me and they said I could do this and that. Well, yeah, some guys, there's some tall guys that can't do what I can do. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, be able to bend, uh, get in and out of breaks. Be able to sing my hips and uh, you know just my releases and stuff at the line. You know just the little things. Um, you know I've been told my whole life that uh, uh, you know play big. You know play tall. Um, but, you know I always thought to myself, you know I can play big and big and tall, but I can also play small as well. You know just be able to do things that uh, you know shorter guys can do that big guys can't, and then just apply that to my game. And you know that you know that separates me from. I want to be able to separate myself from other. Know, other receivers that's my size and you know, just show scouts that I'm different. So. Is there a player in the NFL right now that you maybe could compare yourself to? I'd probably say uh, I grew up watching Alshon Jeffrey. Okay. Um, that was like my, that's, that, it still is my one of my favorite receivers uh, to this day. Um, just watching him growing up, I was able to you know, take things from him, um, you know, just the, being a big receiver. And um, Julio Jones as well, I watched him as too. Uh, but I also watch, uh, I watch a lot of Devontae Adams, you know, just – him creating separation, uh, you know, stuff like that, and how he gets open. Um, I, I like I will watch his his highlights before every every game, um, even these past two seasons. Uh, even before, you know, I would I would just sit there and just watch. I mean, like, bro, this is a, this is amazing. Like, I gotta do this. So it's like it, I take the little things that he does and just go on the indoor and work on it all the time until I perfect it. And uh, you know, just taking that side of being big and playing small. Or putting it together and just applying it to the field. All right, so one of the main reasons why you're here, you're trying to talk to NFL teams, getting a look from NFL scouts and coaches, which NFL teams have you talked to the most? Are you feeling the most confident in? Maybe have shown interest in you? You've had a few conversations? Um, I'm honestly not sure. I mean, I'm okay. just, I just want to come out and showcase what I can do. And... You talked to the Pittsburgh Steelers. Mm -hmm. What were they saying to you? Um, you no, know, just really the... Uh, you know, I'm doing a really good job these past two days. Uh, I'm doing a great job catching the ball and be able to sing my hips and get out of my breaks. Um, that kind of, that that sort of thing. Um, not very much, but uh, you know, just really just talking to them, really getting to know them, they get really getting to know who I am as a person, and uh, you know how can I contribute to their to their uh, to their program and stuff like that. Um, you know, it's been it's been great. It's been a great process to be able to you know talk to these scouts and really get feedback on what what are the things I I'm good at. And also the things that I need to work on too. You know, I've talked to some scouts on the field. Uh, they're giving me advice on like different things that I should I should do. You know what I'm saying? To uh, you know, get open, catch the football. Well, you're being an ACC guy. Mm -hmm. Do you know Kenny Pickett at all? Do you talk to him at all? And how do you think maybe his game and your game could work together? How the Steelers work offensively and what they do? Um, do you have any thoughts on that? Honestly, I don't, I don't know Kenny Pickett, but uh, we played against him in the AC Championship in 21. Right. So I got to see what kind of player he is. Um, you know, he's a, he's a great quarterback. You know what I'm saying? He's different. Um, I haven't seen a you know, quarterback do some of the things that he's done. Uh, you know, with the slide, a little fake slide he scored on. <laughs> that's uh, that's different. Thing. You know what I'm saying? I've never seen that before. But um, You might not like it as much as, uh, <laughs> as um, he does. 
you know, but, you know, I'll, I'll be willing to talk to him and, you know, just be able to learn from him and then learn the system as well, you know what I'm saying, just with, you know, how they run different routes, you know, just timing and everything, not being too late, uh, not being too early, not going fast or too slow. Um, you know, that'd be, that'd be great, you know, just to work with a, with a player like him, um, you know, just with playing against him uh, in the ACC championship two years ago. So. What, what NFL players have you talked to? Do you have a relationship with any NFL players that are giving oh, actually, you advice, whether they be, you know, Wake alums or just in general in the league? Um, yeah, I've talked to some players, uh, you know, some of the Wake alums that play in the league right now, like Greg Dorch, you know, I still keep up with them and stuff like that. Uh, Kendall, uh, um, he's saying, you know, Vincent Chenard, Justin Ron, and those guys like that. Um, one legend, guru, that I've been, uh, you know, with talking to is uh, Anquan Bolton. Um, you know, just, just learning from him, you know, just playing receiver and being a physical receiver, as well as doing some board work, you know, learning different coverages and then going through different passageways of, like, you know, just being a QB in the room. Honestly, just knowing, like, where the ball should go there, uh, versus this coverage, uh, you know, how many... Uh, you know, like a step of uh, receivers and stuff like that, and if this will work or if that will work, you know, just looking at it from a kidney standpoint, like I said, and, uh, you know, just learning, honestly, just getting life advice, uh, football advice, um, just stuff like that. Okay, just a couple more. Number one, how are you yourself preparing and planning for the NFL draft? Because now you're away from a college program. After this is over, you'll again have some time to yourself. What are you doing when it's just you that's in, in charge of you? To get ready to honestly just be consistent with the things i've been working on um and then get better at the things that i need to work on you know just i know a lot of scouts have been asking about speed so you know that's one of the things i've been working on this off season um you know just keeping in tight with catching the football uh, working on releases making sure that i'm getting in and out of my breaks uh making sure that i'm sinking my hips you know be able to change direction uh, just those little things and just being consistent with it and just growing as a player off the field uh, mentally and physically um you know what I'm saying? Just doing the right thing. Now, you put up numbers that are wide receiver one mm -hmm. numbers, <laughs> but there's no guarantee you'll be put on an NFL roster that will let you be a wide receiver one right away. So mm -hmm. we talked about the Steelers in particular. They just drafted George Pickens. They had Calvin Austin, who got hurt last year, but he also was drafted. Deontay Johnson's still there. Pat Fryer with the tight end, but he's there as a pass catcher. Najee there. How would you handle yourself being put on a roster in an offense with so many weapons already there and kind of a one already emerging in Deontay, George Pickens maybe could argue as a one right now and how young he is. Would that work for you? Or would you be sitting there saying, man, I should be getting more opportunities? How do you, how do you handle all that? Because it's always a conversation with receivers that they want the ball mm -hmm. and there's only one ball out there. Um, honestly, uh, you know, I see it as college. When you come in as a freshman, you want to play. But, uh, you know, that doesn't go the right way. You get registered. Um, and so you lose it, use it as those years that whatever, whatever, how many years you're not playing, use those, use that time to control what you can control, which is your time and effort on and off the field. And just, just use that as a learning experience, you know, just learning from the guys that's, uh, that's in front of you. Um, that's actually played, you know, X amount of years. And um, you know, just getting yourself ready, you know, because you never know when someone's going to go down. I've always heard in college, you know, next man up in town, so, you know, just be able to go in every day, work, and uh, be ready for my chance, you know, when I get on the field and just shine, just show people what I can do. All right, man. Good luck to you. Yes, sir.